What's going on guys? We are coming at you live from Brick Fair, Virginia, and today I want to give you all a walkthrough through my Raxus mock. Now, as a heads up, this is the last video I'm going to be making with Raxus. It's finally here. It's finally done with all my minifigures, and I'm not going to be going ahead to bring it back like originally planned. But for today, I want to give you guys a full walkthrough of everything we have here today. Now, this is the occupation of Raxus. This is inspired from Star Wars The Bad Batch, the first season, essentially after Order 66 happens and the Empire takes over the rest of the galaxy. See, this is a scene depicting that. So there's a lot of stuff to go through today. Of course, if you guys enjoy, make sure you drop a like down below. We got more mocks going like this. And on this channel, there are weekly updates that actually document this entire mock progress. So if you guys want to go ahead and binge all those videos, see this mock come together over a nine or 10 month span, definitely go ahead and check that out. I also want to give a huge thanks to Lee and Mason. Shout out to them for helping me design a lot of stuff on this mock. So huge thanks to you guys. So first off, we'll start on the right hand side here with what we call the grass knoll. Now this is basically like a little park, if you will. The entire section of Raxus that I decided to build is essentially this big half dome. Obviously with Lego, I had to condense that a little bit and I wanted to add some sort of green textures going on here. So my favorite part of this area here is gonna be these two by six light bluish gray tiles. They're connected by hinge plates and it forms this really nice half circle shape, which looks super cool, but also cuts the transition between the hill and the rest of the mock as well. So that kind of goes throughout the entirety of this grass section right here, really caps it off nicely, which looks super cool. Now you notice here the bottom of course is going to be grass so it's going to be green plates we have mostly green plates and tile nothing too crazy just giving it some extra look and extra texture which ended up looking nice and it is elevated a little bit as you guys can see here on the sides of the mock so you can see everything going on right over there now, one of the most important things for raxis especially if you saw the trailer or the show are going to be these trees now these trees actually use the same techniques as the lego ideas treehouse set which works really really well especially for modularity because we had to take this to the entirety of brick fair so we found these trees here which look super nice and my favorite part are the bright light orange leaves these give such a unique color you don't see these leaves too often in any mocks really or lego star wars to be specific so we have each tree with these colored leaves and then we also have some smaller branches on either side of these guys that sort of have more dimensions uh, to the trees and then we do have some smaller trees going on right here in the front here again just to give you get some nice volume just giving you a little bit of difference here and then we also have some fun details like we have some purple flowers throughout the mock some white flowers and stuff just again to break up the monotony of the green area and the forest area so that was a super cool section i loved adding these colors that you don't see any of these colors in the rest of the mock which is something i really wanted to see and moving towards the middle of the mock here you'll notice the overwhelming color is this color called medium nougat and we use a technique called studs not on top and it's basically stacking bricks on the side and it gives you this really clean surface as you can see here it's entirely flat all these minifigures are just simply standing with gravity so this really offered a unique twist on Lego Star Wars mocks and that's the entirety of the ground all of these come up and they're modular which is super nice but you can see here how I ended up doing it stacking bricks on the side we have some white plate and some tan uh, brick as well excuse me and we just did that throughout the entirety of this bottom platform now in total is probably closer to around 10,000 pieces just simply on this floor bed right here which is pretty crazy but it does have to support a lot of stuff as you guys can see here there's so much stuff going on uh, right there in the middle of Raxus and everything like that so that's sort of how we came for that bottom middle platform as you work towards the right here right in front of the grassy hill you see we have two of these ATTEs these are actually the brick vault ATTEs that I custom colored color correct that I should say to match the imperial color scheme so I got rid of the dark red and I put the dark bluish gray and light bluish gray on there these things are minifigure scale and have a full interior if you guys haven't checked these out I highly recommend them they are a little fragile traveling with them all the way from Jersey to brick fair uh, was a little bit of a dangerous job if you will but but there is no other ATT that looks at this good so they're just obviously no brainers for what I was trying to do here now in front of each of these ATTEs we have a groups of clone troopers essentially what's happening in this mock is that there's a speech being given right over there and these are the civilians of Raxus and essentially what's going on is the civilians are getting rowdy they're getting angry at this new dictatorship and the military has to come in you know sort of crowd control and make sure no one gets too rowdy so that's kind of the instance of what's going on here and these three walkers obviously are in sort of like a triangle pointing formation that are going towards the crowd which is something that was really iconic for me in the scene and something I wanted to recreate so we got three of those amazing walkers here with clone troopers both on top inside some fantastic work there from David and the rest of the Brick Vault team. Now, one of my favorite parts of the mock here has to be these really cool statues. So the entire middle aisle of Raxus is lined with these columns and statues. Huge thanks to Mason and Lee for helping me design these because this is way too technical for my taste. But you guys can see here just the amount of detail that goes into these statues. It really adds a different level of detail into this mock. Very different from what we're used to seeing. And there are eight of these total and they line up on this tan little strip that goes from the back of the mock to the front. 
and we have those. It's pretty interesting to see because the ATTEs are pretty massive, but when you put the statues next to it, it's just a little taller, which is kind of crazy. So that was a really cool detail, lining the middle of Raxus, which just adds some really, really cool. Now, as you move forward from the ATTEs, you'll see a whole bunch, a big crowd of people and a huge shout out to the five or six people here at Brick Fair who actually let me uh, borrow their civilian minifigures because this would not have been possible without any of them. But throughout here, we have different mixed Star Wars minifigures and different random Lego minifigures just to give it the really civilian vibe. And you can see here throughout the crowd, there are also some clone troopers doing crowd control, working for the Empire, and there's so many civilians here. My estimates of this entire mock is probably around 150 minifigures, which is definitely a lot. So there's a lot of civilians here working towards the front with the mock, obviously the ATTEs and all the military and the clones are pressuring the civilians. It's a super crazy scene in Raxus if you guys haven't seen it. Now moving on towards the actual Capitol building. Now this thing is pretty impressive. It's pretty large as well. I want to start basically from top to bottom. So the backdrop for the balcony is this basically black brick spire. It kind of pearls up on the top and you also have uh, these transparent dark blue windows on the sides that add a really nice color difference uh, to Raxus, which is really, really cool. Now along the front here, we have the border from the front of the balcony. Now this entire section is actually modular, so you guys can see how we worked it using a bunch of dark bluish gray tile, light bluish gray tile, and brick, and all that fun stuff. So these four columns here are actually super important to holding up the majority of this weight. In fact, one of the issues I ran into a brick fair is that there's such a significant table height uh, difference. So these support columns, more than ever, are really important to holding up the rest of this mock. But this entire section right here actually comes off completely. It's modular, so I can lift this whole thing up and this whole tower section would come up. It's a super cool, uh, I wanna say genius way. It's a pretty simple way of transporting it, but it came out really nice and I'm loving it so far. Now on the top of the balcony here, we have six of the clone troopers. We have an Imperial officer and then a custom Borat minifigure. Unfortunately, I was too lazy and couldn't get the Senator from the actual show. So we got Borat to go in his stead, but I think he makes the mock just absolutely perfect. As you move towards the bottom here, you'll see some really cool details inside here. We have some really nice windows throughout the rest of the Capitol building, including a nice door and some uh, red banners going on, just adding again some more color for the entire Raxus mock. Now there is no interior, unfortunately, we weren't able to get something like that for Raxus, but it still came out really, really nice. Now what I love also about this Capitol building is right here on the sides, we have these big pillars. Now these actually are in at an angle and it uses a lot of these wedge plates to actually guide the rest of the piece in, which is super cool. So on either side here, we have those. And what's really important is that it offers a little bit of a different angle for the rest of the mock because the building is essentially very straightforward very perpendicular, very 90 degree oriented, but having these at an angle sort of gives it a little bit of a different look, which is super cool. Now the back of this tall building here, we actually did not finish. Uh, I could have tiled the top of it. However, I just didn't really see a reason why to because you can see it from here and it's pretty much completed up until this point, but that is the rest of the building. And then one last part here, the areas behind the mock, we just tiled it with dark bluish gray. We have the Bad Batch Lego set and also the minifigures there, of course, from Star Wars, the Bad Batch, so. And then just to go over some final things here, in terms of piece count, it's probably closer to around 80 to 90,000 total pieces for everything included in this mock. We have probably around 250 hours of labor and work and brick building into this one. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for tuning into all the episodes in the series at Brick Fair. This is going to be the last time it's going to be displayed. The mock will be torn down, sorted, and we will go ahead and get ready for the next build. I know some of you guys are maybe looking for a different cinematic video, but the fact of the matter is it's complete here at Brick Fair. And it's such a cumbersome mock to deconstruct and re-put back up. So I figured, you know what? We're at Brick Fair one of the best times of the year. The whole entire mock is done here. I'd rather get this stuff done for you guys today. That way we can go ahead and head on to a new build series. But thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more stuff coming up very soon. Let me know what you guys think of Raxus. I'm so happy with how it came out. And there's a little bit of a final send off to Raxus. When I first saw this planet in the series, one of the favorite things that I found in potential with this mock was the color scheme. You guys can see there's so many different colors and it's not something you typically see in Lego Star Wars. We got gray, black, we have dark blue, transparent. We have red and tan underneath. We have nougat on the floor, green and bright orange and brown. Like the colors on Raxus are so cool to me. And this is what makes the mock just so much more sweet to see as it is done. But thank you guys for everyone who has donated and contributed, for everyone who's watched live streams and tuned in for the episodes. This was a fantastic mock to make. I'm happy you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.